Hi guys, Larissa here with Design Memory Craft as a guest designer and today I want to share some fun techniques on things that you can do with your gel medium. Uh, it's a cute little container that comes in and this is a clear gel medium and it does have kind of a shiny appear, appearance to it once it's dry. And I am going to share with you today how to create fun little embellishments and fun uh, backgrounds for your cards, tags, just anything that you might want to create. We are going to be using some dies from Memory Box and then a fun little stencil from the crafters workshop. So we're going to get started here. We're going to take our fun little stencil and we're going to take some of our gel medium and you're just going to put probably about a tablespoon onto a surface and I'm just using a plate and in order to get it colored we are going to actually use our gelatos to create a fun color into the mix. So all I'm going to do is take, if you have a spatula or just anything that you have on hand, I'm just going to use my plastic fork here. I'm just going to scrape some of this off and it mixes up right into the gel medium. I'm just going to mix that in there. see as you start to mix it, it mixes right into the gel medium and the gel medium will take on the color of the gelato that you choose. So once you get that all mixed in, what you're going to do is take it onto the back of your surface, which I'm just going to scoop it up onto my fork, kind of like that, and I want to stay parallel with, with the stencil and just scrape over the top of the stencil. And you can choose to do a lot or a little. And then once you get done, getting it with the consistency that you want. You're just going to remove your tape. I use tape to hold my stencil down just so I don't have to worry about it transferring. Hold this up and you can see that beautiful design and your templates will wash right off as soon as long as you get them in the water right away. Now for mine I decided to use some of this Stampendous Micro Glitter right over the top and it creates a really neat addition to the gel medium and adds a really neat effect to it and it will stick right on there. Hopefully you can see how pretty that is. And I did it on black so that you could see it really well for the video, how pretty that is. And then what you can do once this is done, which is what I've done for my card, I then went back in with the gelato, the red gelato, and whitewashed over the top of the stencil to create the color in the background. And I love the way that it looks. And then this is a joy die that just pops out part of the letters. Um, and I love the dimension that you get. And I think background with this looks really pretty. And then I just splattered some of my gelatos over the top. So anyway, that's the first technique. And the second technique I want to share with you is using just uh, the plain gel medium to cover an entire surface and we're actually going to use 
that. We're just going to put the medium right out onto our paper. No, you, no need for any extra utensils or plates or anything. And then this kind of the same thing. You're just going to take your gelato and we're going to use the red. And I'm just going to break it off onto my paper. And then I'm just going to mix that together with the back of this, my spoon here. To get this whole pile covered. And I really love the idea of doing several different things with this. You could do it on any color of paper that you would like. You can also create your own masks if you don't have any stencils using dyes that you may have and creating a template and then going right over this with your template that you created to get the same effect. And then you're just going to layer this, flatten it out, and it doesn't have to be precise because as this dries, it will level out a little bit on its own. But you're just going to let this dry just like that. And I went back in with mine and added some Stampendous shaped ice, some Stampendous micro glitter, and some Stampendous crushed glass glitter. Um, right on top of this before it dried. So I'm just going to sprinkle some of this right over the top. And then this will dry right into it so that when you go to die cut it, you don't have to worry about any of the glitter or any of the pieces falling off. And I think it just gives a really neat look to your embellishment. And you do want to make sure that this is completely dry before you die cut it because if you try to run this through when it's not die cut, you're going to end up with a terrible mess. And then the gel medium will actually pull away from the paper. So you do want to make sure that this is completely dry before you try to die cut it. So then you're just going to let that dry completely and then you'll take your die of choice and I used this poinsettia die and you'll run that through your machine Let me get this a little closer so you can see how pretty that looks and once you run it through your die you can layer the pieces and I added a button and some twine Mayhart's twine and then this is the leaf and to make the impressions stand out a little better, I added some green gelatos um, and took a wet paintbrush and just painted it on. And I love the way that that looks. So anyway, I hope I've shared some new techniques with you guys today. And I hope you'll give these a try. And if you do, I hope you'll share them down in the comments because I'd love to see your projects. So please visit the Design Memory Craft blog for even more ideas and inspiration. And thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous, fabulous day.